today I would like to show you how to do a little sculpture using Crayola Model Magic. I've got a few examples right here that I thought you might like to see. We've got a little snail. Here's a little bunny rabbit. Snowman. And a teddy bear. Um, let's see, these were all done using markers to color them as we built them. This one had a little more extra marker added after it was dry. This one was painted using tempera cakes, just so you know. Um, some of these we've used uh, little toothpicks to give some details in here. And so today I just wanted to show you how to make a little teddy bear using model magic. This is really fun and the techniques that I'm going to show you to make the bear could be used to make pretty much any little four-legged animal, cats or dogs or whatever. Um, so we're going to start with just a little package of model magic right here. Ours comes in white. And one of the cool things about model magic is that you can actually color it with markers <laughs> and you can, so that way you have color right away. So I've got some markers here. I'm going to do a little brown. You could do it any color you want. It doesn't have to be brown. Nobody said all bears are brown. You can see I just put a big, thick layer of brown. Now I wouldn't stick my hands right into that because that gets a little messy, but if you roll it up like a burrito and then just knead that in, you can see that that brown starts to scatter through. And some of my students like to leave it looking kind of marbleized. They think that looks really cool. I'm going to go ahead and get most of mine in there. I know the color is really hard to see on the video here, but I guess you'll just have to trust me when I say that that's looking kind of tan right now. So I'm going to do another quick layer. So you can deepen the value by putting more and more marker on it over and over. So that was pretty tan to me. It's not coming through very good on the video, but that's how it is with this document camera sometimes. All right, now you might have noticed that I left one section completely white, and I've got this other section that I'm making a little brown. That way I still have some white that I could use as well. You can kind of tell the difference. I know you can't see that color very good, but there you go. Okay, so to make a little teddy bear, each part of his body is just a circle that has been smushed together. This is called additive sculpture when you take two pieces and put them together. The cool thing about model magic is that you don't have to do any scoring and slipping. Those of you who have worked in clay before know what those words mean. But model magic, you can just smush two pieces right together and it will stick. It almost looks like a marshmallow at first and then even after it dries, it's very lightweight but it holds together pretty good. I was kind of impressed. All right, so right here's a head. Here's a body. You can see it's just two circles, and I'm just going to go bloop, make those, make sure those are stuck together nice and good, and there we have it. You don't have to score and slip or anything. It's not going to go anywhere. Okay, if I want to add some ears, here's how I like to do ears. Now, you might want to check your size before you stick them on and make sure that they're the size that you want. So I try to make sure that they're both about the same size. I like to squish them into little pancakes like that and then press them on. All right, there's another little pancake. You can tell my fingers are dirty because we've been doing this all day. <laughs> all right, there we go. Now, one thing you might notice about teddy bears or dogs or cats or most animals, they kind of have a little snout on their nose that pokes out. So I'm going to use my white to make a snout. Uh, might be a little big. Again, I'm just going to roll it in a circle. And I will press that right in place. Okay, so you can see that's kind of like his little nose. Now let's say I wanted him to have a little black button nose. Maybe I can take a teeny tiny bit of model magic here. I'm going to color it with my black. I like to just mush it out when I do it. Roll it up like a burrito, knead that together, and you'll, you'll get it a little messy on your fingers, but that happens when you're an artist sometimes. We can keep a wipe handy, or we can wash our hands when we need to. All right, so there's my little nose, and I'm just going to press that right in place. Okay, sometimes if your fingers are really messy, you might want to wash them before you start touching other colors, or it may bleed on into other colors. Okay, I want to do some arms and legs. 
I'm going to make sure they're all the same size. So I'm going to divide that in half, divide that in half again, divide that one in half again. So that way I've got four little sections that are about the same size. All right, I'm rolling those into little, whoop, <laughs> into little balls. And I'm not going to keep those perfect circles. I'm going to make them almost a snake, but not very much, just a few little rolls like that. If it's too long and skinny, we may have a little trouble whenever it dries with things breaking. So I like to keep everything nice and fat and kind of cute when we're building something like this. Okay, so now I'm going to stick his legs on, stick his little arms on. Oh, how adorable. I can also, have you ever noticed how animals sometimes have white fur on their tummies? You can also add pieces for details like that. Maybe I'll take a little white and smoosh it on there for his little tummy. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pick him up. I can make adjustments to where his arms and legs are if I want him sitting up, if I want him laying down, kind of make those decisions. I could also take my markers and do things directly onto this wet clay and it will look all right. I'm just going to do two quick little dots for eyeballs. And we are also going to have toothpicks available to us so that we can do things like maybe press in for fingers and toes if we want to. Something like that. After this dries, you can still come back on top with your um, with your markers and you can add other little details if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and make my final adjustments before I put it away so that way it all dries exactly like I want it. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to give him a little smile. Just use my toothpick. <laughs> He's a happy teddy bear. Boop. And that is how you do a little model magic sculpture.